Hey guys, this is Matthew with buildyourownblog.net, and in this video, I want to teach you the fundamental differences between a free blog and a self-hosted blog. Which version is better? Let's take a look. Okay, the free blog platform is a service that offers a free blog that obviously does not cost you any money. However, you get what you pay for, which in this case is not a lot. For instance, you get an extremely limited amount of design options. Many only offer a cookie cutter template, meaning everyone using that platform has the same looking blog, or they only offer a few basic designs to choose from. Free blog services also provide minimal features, like plugins. You don't get those. You also often have ads on your website that you have no say or control over, as well as the amateurish looking subdomain, like this one that has .blogspot.com in the domain. Here are a few examples of subdomains that you would get with a free blog like mycookieshop.tumblr.com, realestateinfo.typead.com, or travelforless.wordpress.com. When it comes to free, your domain will have to have the name of the blog platform included in your URL. When you promote your domain, this can be a confusing turnoff for your prospective audience. Again, a lot of people, when they see this type of domain, they automatically assume you're a beginner, amateur, however you want to say it. First impressions mean just as much on the web as they do in person. So if you want to be taken seriously, I recommend that you choose instead to start blogging on a self-hosted blog platform. Here's what you get on a self-hosted blog platform. First, you get your own domain, one that clearly gives your visitors the impression that you want. Two, you get to install your own plugins, most of them free, like social share buttons or link customizations, for example. And three, there are no ads on your blog unless you want them. When you're ready to own a self-hosted blog, you have various choices, including Ghost, Drupal, and WordPress. I'm a huge advocate for WordPress because of its one-click setup, easy to use for non-techies, and people without computer skills can even customize the look and features of their blog without needing to hire a web developer. As the owner of a self-hosted blog, you'll get to choose a domain name you like and then select a hosting account to support it. Domain names typically average around $12 to $15 a year, while hosting averages around $5 to $9 per month. This process might appear a bit complicated to you, and if so, you can use my blog setup guide to walk you through the steps. Okay, now I'd like to show you the difference between a free blog and a self-hosted blog. Okay, so here's a scrapbooking blog on the Blogspot platform. And up here in the top address bar, you can see that they have a domain, bluemoonscrapbooking.blogspot.com. It has a limited design, and this looks like one of Blogspot's uh, limited default themes. There are no features here, so this is why I recommend WordPress.org for your self-hosted blog. Let's take a look. Here's my blog at buildyourownblog.net forward slash blog. And you can see here how I've been able to do many customizations with my theme. I've used widgets to construct my sidebar. So you can see the difference when you're in complete control of your domain. Right now I've chosen not to have any ads on my blog and if I do want them later, I have total control over that. Well, that wraps up this video. If you would like to set up a self-hosted blog, I would be happy to help you. Just visit buildyourownblog.net and message me if you have any questions. Cheers to a successful new blog. I'll see you on the other side.